Natodon is a small industrial town a couple of hours drive from Oslo. Just over 12,000 people live in the county. There is a main street, a factory, a few churches. It is a quiet community. It is the home of Vegard to Beaton. I am using from Napoli, and I believe in wisdom, strength and power through a satanic point of view. 18 years old Vegard, also known as Isham, is the singer and guitarist of the Norwegian black metal band Emperor. And he dares speaking the unspeakable. He describes himself as a Satanist. Satanism is nothing for a weak person. Because it's all built on strength and wisdom and power. All the power to control your surroundings to your own benefit. Basically, Satanism is just a more developed uh, philosophy about uh, well, the survival of the fittest. The devil as we know him is, is very much a Christian construction. And so Satanists, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll hate the idea, but essentially they're a kind of Christian construction because it's Christianity that's made the devil, basically. It's Christianity that's set up the devil. Vegard got into Satanism five years ago through his involvement with black metal, the music relying heavily on the occult and its dark symbolism. I'm fascinated by death. Death is something human sphere. Death is fascinating because it's so much emotions about uh, around it, so much ener energy around it. Christianity is all about kind of light and God bringing light and, 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 and sort of, you know, kind of cleanliness and goodliness. So, so Satanists go and worship in the dark at night. It's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole sort of reverse culture, really. Um, throughout European history in the Middle Ages and beyond, the devil was very much a kind of symbol of rebellion. I think it's almost inevitable now when people want to re rebel against the, the kind of codes of society in whatever form, um, that the, the, the devil becomes an attractive figure or some of those satanic ideas become attractive ideas. In search for inspiration, Vegard often retreats to the solitude of an isolated log cabin deep in the woods belonging to his family. It's kind of meditation because you, you open your mind to all the impulses you get from your surroundings, the sound from the waterfalls and uh, the winds, the rains, the symbolic world around Satanism, it, it is dark, the wasteness, the emptiness, the silence, it is the dark forces. And also in this, in this kind of old Norwegian woods, you could also kind of feel the, the, pagan, uh, the pagan past. We don't want Christianity in Norway, because it's a, it's a pagan country. We want the pagan spirit to live on in this northern wastelands. If you look at what constitutes what what is said to constitute satanic worship in different areas around the world, you can you can pick up various kind of symbols that people use from pagan religions, um, inverted Christian symbols, folklorish stories, bits of literature, bits of popular legend. They're all mixed in there together. So each individual's satanic beliefs become a bit of a kind of personal pick and mix. This particular brand of Norwegian Satanism took an even more sinister turn back in 1992 when a series of arson attacks left six churches burnt to the ground. Varg Vikanes, also known as Count Grishnak, frontman for the black metal band Burzum, was then arrested in connection with the arsons and later released for lack of evidence. In August of the same year, Bard Eithen, the drummer for Vegard's band Emperor, killed a gay man in his hometown of Lillehammer. In 1993, attacks against churches carried on throughout Norway and on the 10th of August, Count Grishnak made the national headlines again when he stabbed to death the leader of Mayhem, an opposing black metal band. To this day, a total of 13 people have already been prosecuted for arson and this year alone, 14 Norwegian churches were targets of attacks. Well, I think... I mean, it's not the fact that you call yourself a satanist. Går nok ikke så veldig dypt i de aller, aller fleste av disse ungdommene. Det er nok slik at man kanskje er med i en bølge som har blitt skapt for en par år siden. Although Vegard claims not to be linked to any arson, and has not been charged or prosecuted for any church burning offenses, he clearly finds a symbolic value in these attacks. It's anti-Christian and also kind of anti-human. It's a very strong expression. Og det er mye strong energi rundt det. Hvis vi tenker menigheten som samles her, 
så är er det en kraftig reaktion där men han är er ganska klar över att det som menigheten stod för han så den kristne tro den är er också knust den är er också knäckt snarare kanske tvärt emot It's clear that Vegard's close circle of friends have taken their beliefs one step too far Still while rejecting direct action and violence Vegard remains defiant and shares the extreme philosophies of his criminal colleagues Human life in general is of no value how can you have respect for something that is so weak? How far could I go? Will I kill for my beliefs? Oh. Depends on the situation. Sångpressen här, min kollega, sa väl lite efter kyrkebrann att de människor som eventuellt har gjort detta här, de ödelägger väldigt mycket för sig själv och deras egen framtid. Kyrken kan byggas upp och menigheten kan komma styrket ut, men han hade väl mest tanke på de som då hade gjort detta och och som hade ödelagt väldigt mycket för sin egen framtid.